Alright guys, we're back in stage two, so let's go ahead and get started with a mini boss. That's the way to beat him, just uh just a truck attack right at that or right at the core. Ah! Gotta be blocked off by the arm. The arm can be destroyed, but it takes a lot of charge attacks. So the easiest way to do it is just charge attack whenever he's not uh, whenever the arm's not going up, oh that was close. Oh yeah, the arm is taken out. We don't beat him fast enough. Ow. Come on, die already. There we go. Alright, so there he goes. So I found out is with the emulator, it's the, uh, the recording, uh, while well, I'm doing the AVI log. That, uh, the discoloration happens, but you know what, that's okay. The one up around here somewhere. Things at 50,000 when we get another one up. Oh, oh. Uh, those spikes are not instant death, as you know, Konami loves to kind of do like Capcom in a way, but uh, they do hurt a lot. Alright, so we're gonna have another mini boss here in a minute. Dang it! Okay, they don't hurt too much then. Alright, so this mini boss, you wanna hit the, uh, you wanna hit the tail without getting hit by my, my game. Okay, really? Alright, so we're gonna hit the tail without getting hit by my game. Ah! Target attack on you. And again! And that boss is easy. Alright, give me a couple apples here. Yeah, you don't want to go to the back because you just walk into a wall of spikes. So now we go to the inside here, the cave. Lock myself down in the water. I love this soundtrack, I really do. I love the Rocket Knight Adventure soundtrack. It's an amazing soundtrack. You go up here and get yourself a, uh, a banana without falling back in. Okay, seriously. Just die. Okay, shoot straight up, this should be the end of the world. Okay. Well, it has more points. It does not. Okay, anyways. Go ahead and swim, swim yourself down without getting by these spikes. And these spikes will start falling like bombs. And I go to the right side. Stay on the right, or the left side. These spikes hurt too. A lot. <laughs> Yeah, so whenever you get hit, it's just like Mega Man properties, you lose your, uh, you lose your charge. Now for the fun part of stage two. I love this song, seriously. Oh, dang it. Okay, I don't know how that works, but okay, I'll take it. Basically, for this part, you just want to keep charging back and forth, because the pigs will show up on each opposite side. And avoid getting hit by the bombs. Oh, okay, that was random. Uh, avoid getting hit by the bombs. But you do have the question, how do they have the, all these bombs in that part and they're stick and fit? Then again, I'm questioning video game logic, which is a bad idea, dang it. Once you get to a certain point, these things start uh, start slowing down, and this becomes a jumping puzzle. When you can see those exclamation points, you want to duck. Alright, now for the jumping puzzle. Or just timing puzzle, or whatever. There we go. Yep. It doesn't really give me a warning. Alright, now for this part. What you want to do is stay to the left. Let all four of them show up, and then do a... Jumping diagonal charge. to so kill all five of them. Just continue doing this and we should be doing just fine. There we go. And 
Alright, and now it's time for the boss. Now this boss has three forms. Uh, what you want to do is avoid the cannon fire, and not jump into like I said, avoid the cannon fire. Uh, you want to get in close, and just hack away with your sword. Don't worry about doing charge attack, not yet. This boss easily goes down with just a normal sword. So that's form, that's the first form. The second form is going to be a little bit more difficult. What you need to do, well, I'll wait till we get there and we'll, we'll take him out. Alright, for this form, what you want to do is actually attack the arms. So just do straight charges until he actually... Okay, without getting hit again. Okay, seriously. Ah! Now, right here at this part, what you want to do is just wait for him to reach out. Stay to the far right, also. Don't hold it, don't hold it direction when he's reach, uh, reaching out. Just do a spin attack. It does mega damage. Second form down. Alright, now for the third form. Basically, now you're attacking the back of him. The easy way to do this is to get in as close as possible without getting hit by the bouncing orbs this time. You just hack away with the sword. Oh! He got me! Well, I was definitely the one. Normally I do a lot better than that, than this, but I guess of course since you're playing a Let's Play, what can you do? <laughs> huh. Oh well, live and learn. Oh, shoot, thank you. Ah! Okay, you're not beating me this time. I refuse to let you beat me this time. with his bad self. Alright, one up at 60,000, okay. Alright. Now we got that one done, let's try the next area. Alright, stage three. This stage can be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you why when we come back. Alright, so until then guys, I will see you later. Peace.